I have a feeling that Uran and Chavez, the two Colombians, are going to be the strongest on that final climb. Not taking it. So five kilometres to go, and the climb is about to begin. Still all four, all just about sticking together, but here goes Chavez. Chavez being chased by Uran. Oh, and Balde goes pop. Roman Balde out of the game. Flamme Rouge, one kilometre to go. Doesn't look like Bardet is going to get back on here. Rosa goes again. So Rosa doesn't trust his own sprint. 300 metres to go. This is it. Diego Rosa having a real go for Lombardia at the moment. They can't get on his wheel. It's Rosa through the middle. Coming round the outside though. Here we go with Uran. But he can't get around him. It's Diego Rosa through the middle. Here comes Chavez. Oh, Colombia have a monument. Colombia have a monument. Esteban Chavez pimping the Italian on the line. Chavito does it at Orica Bike Exchange win in Lombardia 2016. Look at this, he's into a blizzard, but it's a flurry of brilliance he has displayed. Just got to keep it sensible, the bike almost vertical, doesn't want to lean into any single corner, but he's lent on absolutely everyone today. He's into the Hornet sections, 250 metres to go. Glory beckons and the lead of this race, and I can't see anybody getting back on Daryl Quintana right now. He has blanketed the field with a show of domination that has been something to behold. When cameras can barely see him as the lights start to flare, and it is a flare performance as well. He knows it, we know it, and now everybody knows that he is on the best of form, and he has delivered. He's a race leader, and he might just have won the whole thing. It's protected, so the wind is not the same impact, and I think there's a regathering behind them. In fact, the gap is starting to close, and here are those that are hyper-motivated to actually close it. Here we go, Dan. Yeah, here we go, about 400 metres to go. Now, Nathan has tried to spring a surprise. That's going to be very difficult to do, oh. given the headwind that they're experiencing at the moment. Has he managed to do so? He's going for it, big dig. Max Richese straight on the back wheel of Nathan Haas. He brings the Australian back to Team Dimension Data. And Solo is in third place. They've got to leave the sprint late, though. They have, and uh, they're opening up the centre. And you and I, as well, done, but you've had Gaviria. He's going for this one, it's going to be him. He's got the backup, he's got the win. Oh, he's taken it on the day. But look at the gaps. It's down to the wind and quality work by quick step flaws. And boy, is that important for them. What a day. What a day, then. There is the Colombian out onto the pedals again. And this is that 14% part of the race. Simply from the fact that Lopez has taken this long to catch him, you have to say the Colombian must be trying pretty much his hardest as well to make sure he gets back up to the Canadian rider here. And I certainly couldn't... Oh, he's, oh, he's straight attacking away. him straight away. Straight away. Bye-bye, Michael Woods. Now, Woods looking to stay on the wheel. First reaction's a good one from the Canadian. One kilometre to go. Lopez on the left for Astana. On the right, just behind him in the green, Michael Woods, the Canadian, looking for what would be the biggest win of his professional career so far. 700 metres and Woods attacks. This could be the chance to make the winning move. In the meantime, though, Lopez reacts. And these two, oh, what a fight they've shown us. There's been a reaction each and every time from the other. They've now got, what, eight? 100 metres, maybe 700 to go, and, and Lopez, Lopez is... trying to go again into the slipstream, left-hand side, can there be a reaction? And that's the stinging attack. That is the one that's going to get Woods. He's out of the game. It's Lopez, and is it going to be the Colombian that takes this after four and a quarter hours of racing? It's going to be the 22-year-old who is going to take a fifth win of his career. Won the Tour of Swiss this year, went to the Vuelta España, so unlucky there, but here he zips up his jersey. It's a win for Colombia. And Pierre Roland across the line. Behind, though, look at this. There's a man in a red jersey, Egan Bernal, with Jonathan Castro Viejo just behind him. And Bernal looks as though he might break the time set by Richie Port. Bernal will do. He's going to be the new leader and by quite a way. Bernal to take the lead and perhaps with it the yellow jersey. 17.5 seconds quicker than Richie Port. Bernal coming across the line with Castro Viejo. But Geraint Thomas is no longer one of the big favourites for this race. He should be riding now at the service of his teammate Egan Bernal. Bernal set to win the stage. Thomas finishing well, well down in 25th place. 
Rowan Dennis will be the next across. Dennis across in sixth place. Roglic will be the next man. What is Primoz Roglic's time? Well, he's got to get over 18 seconds from here. It's a big ask, but it's looking like he's still going to be in the game for the overall. He could just about still keep that yellow jersey. Let's see. 25.04, 25.05, he's just going to miss out. Roglic is going to come to the line very close. He's still going to be in the game for the overall. But Egan Bernal is going to take the stage win. Roglic with a brilliant ride second half, keeps the yellow jersey. And Egan Bernal is the stage winner. And a look at this move from Rigoberto Uran. Now you say Aru is one of the first favourites, big, big favourites to show himself. Uran is the next. And that's a hell of a ride from uh, Rudy Mola as well. He's recovered from his attack, having been caught. And he is on the wheel of the Colombian. Yeah, that's actually going to do. <laughs> well, yeah, it is indeed David Godu. And he's on the attack now. Godu cannot respond. See Fabio Aru out of the saddle in third place on the road, but uh, this is a very, very dangerous move from Rigoberto Uran of Team Cannondale Drag Back. And could, be, could it be the second victory in succession for a Colombian rider? Still 2.7 k's to go. It's going to be a tough old change to get this man. This is what really matters, though, for the victory. And there is Rigoberto Uran, and he's closing still, but the meters are running out. I don't think there's quite enough road, is there, for Adam Yates to make his way back to, Fab uh, to Rigoberto Oran, shall oh, I say. Oh, it's close. Rigoberto Oran knows it. He'll feel him breathing down his neck now. Now, there's a slight foreshortening effect from that camera, but Adam Yates is having the ride of his life to try and get it back on terms with Oran. Oran, though, only has a couple of hundred metres to, meter to hold his form and rides to victory. A Colombian one here in totally different circumstances last year, but Rigoberto Oran in the best year of his career just has to see off this spirited challenge from Adam Yates, who's flying around this final corner. There he is, but it's not going to be enough. For Adam Yates, we go back to Iran. Surely now, as the road signs out with 50 meters to go, we'll ride towards victory and take the win on the doorstep of this famous Basilica. He wins Milano Torino. The 98th edition goes to Colombia, just like the 97th. This time, though, it's we go back to Iran. Timo Pino made an attack, Nari Quintana straight onto him, as is Geraint Thomas there, and Adam Yates in fourth position. So that's the first big attack. Exploded the group. Geraint Thomas looks across, sees Yates, sees Quintana, and sees a resurgent Rigoberto Uran. And Thomas just uh, drops down a gear, gets into time trial mode, and rides away from them again, putting them once more into difficulty. Quintana responds. It's all splitting up once again, Quintana goes. Yeah, big attack from Quintana, Geraint Thomas. Oh, is that Mikel Lander actually? Is Lander trying to get, oh no, it's Thomas trying to get across to Quintana. That put Yates into difficulty. There's Simon Spilak now, who is the leader on the road, and Quintana is closing to him very, very quickly now. And Quintana goes again, he's capable of this. And Thomas goes again. And once again, Yates has work to do, and Iran will sit on the wheel of the Britain. This, perhaps, this is the definitive attack from Naira Quintana. How quickly will he get across to Simon Spilak? If he carries on like this, it won't be long before he's the first rider on the road. Spilak, Quintana, Thomas, then a gap to Adam Yates and Rigoberto Uran. Effortless climbing style of Nara Quintana, out of the saddle, a tiny Colombian, absolutely sweeps past Simon Spilak, who is beginning to die on the road here. Nara Quintana once again at the top of a high mountain in the Queen stage of a prestigious stage race, sees his national colours floating in the wind behind him, celebrates the victory, and with that victory, almost certainly overall victory at Terreno Adriatico. Can now Nibali cracks too. So Esteban Chavez has dropped the Italian. Nibali showing real signs of weakness on this climb. Ata Puma looks across at Kreisweig, and what will he be feeling? He knows that he was so close. Now he's just got to try and stay on their wheel, recuperate, and offer something in the finale. Georg Preidler will take the win, and he will take 10 bonus seconds, surely, as they go left-handed and into the finishing straight. Can Chavez get across to him? Can Kreisweig go right over the top of both of those? Chavez opens up in a sprint. Will it be the day for Colombia? It will! Esteban Chavez wins the race! 
for Colombia after all. Stephen Kreisberg is in second place. He picks up six bonus seconds and he will be the new Malia Rosa. Now, Andre Greipel, I think, is going to be used as uh, in the caboose will be uh, Caleb Ewan. He's decided to stick with him. 700 metres to go and uh, they're lighting it up. Uh, lots of Sadal here, but don't want to leave out anybody else. Quick step floor suddenly come into the frame here. Kaviri is hyper confident. He wants this. He wants it more than potentially anybody else. Uh, Modelo's in the frame as well. And uh, finally, they're moving over to the centre of the road. And here come Bora Hans Grow. Well, they've got the confidence now. Can they possibly deliver this? Is it all too soon? 250 metres ago. And here he comes. Quick step floors. Gaviria still has a go for it. Caleb Ewan's in a good place as well. They're mixing all over the place. And Greipel goes over to the other side of the road. Here comes Greipel in the Chicklemon jersey. Has he got the strength on the right? Oh, look at Moreshko as well. Oh, brilliant work. Gaviria. Oh, my goodness. What a day it has been. And what an approach that was. A big old drag as we got there. Finally boxing it throughout this run in. Dan, what a finish. Well, quick step floors got that perfectly. Both Caleb Ewan and Andre Greipel found themselves too far down the order with four or five hundred metres to go, whilst Fernando Gavira used the lead out of his teammate, but also that of Bora Hansgrohe. And what a few days it's been for the quick step floor.